Alright, uh, did my usual mailing and stuff. And uh, so I'm here in downtown Flushing again. And I'm doing this video because uh, there's recently been uh, quite a few food videos I have seen. And uh, one of them was um, talk about cheap eats in Flushing. So uh, I just thought, hey, how come everybody uh, making their food videos? So I might as well make my contribution. And uh, so here's my three cheapest eats in Flushing. And it's definitely not covered by the other one I've seen. So uh, let's go down and uh, see what we got. All right. So uh, let's talk about the first place I'm uh, I'm visiting. Uh, up ahead, uh, under the red yeah. sign, is uh, Zhu Zi Guo Tie. Is um, they began in the 1990s as a little food truck right across this pavement on um, right on the road where this uh, outdoor seating enclosure used to be. And uh, at the time, I'm talking about in the 1998, around that time, I was still a high schooler. And uh, there were there were about three of these um, fried dumpling uh, carts in, uh, in 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 this block. And uh, eventually, these guys made enough money to uh, move into this spot. And uh, through. And 20 years later, now uh, these guys are the only ones left. And what do we got? Of course, uh, it's very uh, standard. Your your leek dumplings, uh, three dollars for eight, and the uh, fried buns is two dollars for four. And those are probably the most popular items. Uh, they also sell other things like uh, soups and other things. So I'm gonna order something. Uh, 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 yeah, I got a and a and a think that's uh, five dollars right there. So, yeah. Uh, I uh, 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 Okay, uh, there used to be a small seating area that's right here, uh, like right between the door and the fridge over there. But it looks like they closed it off since the pandemic started, uh, which is unfortunate. And uh, this much food is uh, seven bucks. Uh, not so cheap anymore. Uh, I've got to tell you, I never, I haven't been uh, shopping here <laughs> for a while. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of food. So let's move on. If you ever dare to steal from this store, you're gonna get really decked. Alright, don't, don't steal from these guys. Look at that up there. Yeah, if you ever steal from these guys, uh, you, you know what you're getting. So on the, on the intersection between uh, Roosevelt and Main Street, there's a um, steamroll vendor called uh, Fu Yuan. And uh, they are... Uh, they, I think they've been around here for about two or three years. And I think uh, they, they have a little tiny store that probably uh, minimized their rent. And uh, they've been doing pretty well. And um, what I just noticed is that uh, they have uh, renovated their storefront. And now it uh, looks a lot more modernized. Uh, what used to be there was a, just a door that's like, cut in half. and. Uh, Put a counter over it and uh, they could uh, 
serve food from that counter, but now uh, they actually have a proper storefront, which is really nice. Uh, I mean, just gotta appreciate the hustle. Uh, some of these people. Yeah, uh, full year steam road across the street under the blue awning. But uh, I'm not talking about that one because somebody else already did. I'm talking about these guys over here. Uh, this is uh, it's called Kuai Lu Xiao Chi in Chinese. And uh, in English, they decided to call themselves NY Go Go Fast Food. Okay. Uh, Kuai Lu means uh, uh, quick deer. So we'll probably refer to how fast they get you out of here. But these are the food they're serving. Uh, you got fried chicken, uh, fried rice, uh, that's a uh, marinated egg, all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's a, uh, okay. Uh, I know what to get. Uh, can I get the, the first one? Okay. How many? Yeah, they beat me to it. She beat me to it. Okay. Yeah, uh, so those are made to order. Yeah, over here, you kind of just have to yell out your order and uh, nobody's going to wait in line for you. Oh, that's good. Yeah. How many? Three. Three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 葱油饼一个然后那个米粉给我一个多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少多少
nice. Get the food out here. Alright, let's start with the first place, uh, which is the Zhu Zi. Uh, the, the, uh, the dumplings. The four uh, fried um, fried buns. So it's uh, crispy on the bottom side and you know soft on the top side. Alright, let's gotta have a bite now. Mmm. Pork filling. Fried dumplings. Now it's probably better if you eat it on the spot, but um, I have to come back. So again, um, crispy on the underside and um, chewy on the top side. And a pre-packaged um, soy milk. You know, I was a high schooler when they first started. So this, this whole thing, two dollars here, one dollar here, and uh, one dollar here. So this used to be like a four dollar deal, but now um, twenty years later. Is seven dollars. So this is uh, actually the most expensive purchase of the day. Well, now I'm going to go to the second one, uh, which is the Quick Deer Kwai Lu, and um, you can see this. Uh, the packaging is uh, pretty, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty crude, right? You have this uh, little plastic bag, and uh, you just put a put a drumstick right there. You know, some napkins and another plastic bag for this um, this scallion pancake, and then. Uh, a whole box of um, rice noodle, and this is uh, only five fifty. Look, this whole thing is five fifty compared to this as seven dollars. Of course, uh, I find that uh, these are definitely uh, these are like have better taste. Uh, these uh, will fill you up for the day, though. Uh, especially this guy here. I'm gonna eat this next, cause and then save the rest for dinner. This plate of uh, rice noodles, um, they are very filling, but the downside is that this can be very dry in your throat. So make sure you get something to drink because uh, it will dry up your throat and you will have a hard time swallowing this. And you know, you get what you pay for. This is, I think this is gonna be like $2 or something out of that whole receipt of five fifty. And yeah. Uh, last one. Oh, I get a, I get a bowl of broth. Utensils. This is a uh, six fifty for the box of invincible pork over rice. Look at the amount of pork up here. Like they filled up the whole thing. Now I'm actually gonna get a scale and I'll show you how much pork is here. Yep, uh, let's move these things over. Look at that. This would be our dinner for like two people right there. Easily feeds two people. And the, uh, the rest of the tray is still full of uh, rice and veggies. 14.8 ounces. That's almost one pound, like one pound of meat like right here. Um, now, if you want to order the roast pork separately, it's going to be $9. So for six fifty, you get more than $9 worth of food. And you know, you also have rice. So this is crazy. I, I'm gonna tell you, this is the craziest uh, food deal I ever gotten. Oh, don't forget the soup too. So you got the subway station and you don't know what to eat. This is it, man. You, you can finish this or if you cannot finish it, you can save it for the next day. All right, so. All right, so this is it guys. And uh, I'm gonna start digging in. Uh, I have a late lunch today and uh, enjoy. I'll see you next time.